Hi, and welcome to our 110th test and measurement video. Today, we'll focus on a powerful theorem, the Fourier transform, propounded by Joseph Fourier in 1822 in his analytical theory of heat. It was based on Newton's earlier law of cooling, which stated that the flow of heat between two adjacent molecules is proportional to their very small differences in temperature. Never dreaming that his theorem would eventually become applicable to electrical and electromagnetic periodic waveforms, Fourier was looking at heat flow through an iron ring. He discovered that this flow could be mathematically described by what came to be known as the Fourier transform. It states that any function of a variable, whether continuous or discontinuous, can be expanded as a series of signs of multiples of the variable. The mathematics underlying this transformation is extremely complex, even for a computer to perform. But the end result is that any waveform, as represented in the time domain, where time is the independent variable and amplitude is the dependent variable, can, with equal validity, be transformed into the frequency domain. Here, rather than time, frequency is the independent variable, as plotted in an oscilloscope display against the x-axis. And amplitude is still the dependent variable, plotted against the y-axis. Only now, amplitude is shown in units of power rather than voltage, and the scale is logarithmic rather than linear to make the display more manageable. This transformation can go back and forth in either direction any number of times with no loss of information. Going from the time domain to the frequency domain is known as Fourier analysis, and going the other way is known as Fourier synthesis. The study of the relationships between the two domains is called harmonic analysis. As mentioned, the mathematics required to perform the Fourier transform is difficult, but fortunately, over the years, culminating in the 1960s, new algorithms vastly simplified the two-way process. And today, the fast Fourier transform, or FFT as it is known, is universally used. Pressing a couple buttons, an oscilloscope user can instantly transform any waveform, regardless of complexity, from time to frequency domain. To demonstrate from this Tektronix AFG31000 arbitrary function generator channel 1 output to the Tektronix MDO3104 oscilloscope channel 1 input, we run a BNC cable making sure that both channels are on, as you can see in any of the 12 waveforms plus arbitrary user-created waveforms that can be displayed in the oscilloscope. If we wanted, we could simultaneously display a second waveform in both instruments. But for this demonstration, one waveform will suffice. To perform the fast Fourier transform in the oscilloscope, we simply press math followed by the soft key associated with FFT. It happens instantaneously, and it is a simple matter to switch among uh, available waveforms back and forth between time and frequency domains. Both versions contain precisely the same information, but looking at a waveform in the frequency domain permits the user to see the spectral location and relative amplitudes of the array of harmonics, plus any noise that may be present. This is a square wave. Notice the array of harmonics that are shown in the frequency display. And back to the sign with no harmonics because it is a pure waveform. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.